Hi everyone, welcome to the module BPM 201, Construction Economies. I'm Dr. Lin Guamin. There are so many economies out there, such as finance economies, healthcare economies, agriculture economies, ecological economies, management economies, and so on. Why do we need to study construction economies? Construction economies is unique. First, the object of the study is unique. Construction project or real estate project is a large, complex, and fixed asset. It has a very complicated pricing system and usually takes a long time to be complete. Construction project is uh, also a one-off project. You will never see another Duxon Pinago building in Singapore. Second, construction sector plays a unique role in Singapore. As an island state without the hinterland, Singapore imports most of the construction materials, use foreign labor and export construction expertise. Yet, it has one of the most active construction sectors in the developed economies, which contribute to the overall economy and world-class infrastructure. Besides, the success of improving labor productivity in Singapore relies on how well we can improve the construction uh, sector's productivity. Construction economies is not only construction. It needs input from other sectors. For example, it needs labor, materials, machine, equipment, electricity, transportation, management, finance, and so on. Construction industry also supplies input to other sectors. The key input is to deliver a building or structure that provides the platform for other economic activities to take place. Thus, construction sectors has a typical multiplier effect. Construction economy is the combination of economies, construction and management. First, we'll introduce some fundamental concepts in economies and their applications, such as demand, supply, and price. Moreover, we'll introduce some common schools of economies, such as KNZ economies, behavioral economies, game theory, and so on. Second, we will share the vision, challenges, and the efforts of addressing these challenges in Singapore's construction sector. In this regard, we will introduce two competitiveness models, Porter's diamond model and Durning's elliptic paradigm. Also, you will expect some analysis of the economy cycle and property cycle, and the reasons behind them. Third, construction management and strategy will be talked at the end of this module. What is risk management? What is business strategy? What is project appraisal? And so on. You will expect some answers from this module. I wish you all success and look forward to working together with you.